Hello! Today we are going to extend our folk art lesson by making some folk art trees. Remember last week we made a landscape and learned about Maddie Lou O'Kelly and we learned about how folk artists are not trained artists and they paint or draw or however they make they, their art, they do so to reflect their community and their culture. Um, many times folk art is also very decorative and can also be whimsical. Um, Maddie Lowe of Kelly was a American folk artist, but there's folk artists all around the world. Today, we are going to make some folk art trees that are going to be decorative and a little bit whimsical. That means they don't really look realistic. So here's a sample of one of my collection of uh, folk art trees, and we are going to do that together today. So for this activity, we are going to need a piece of paper. We are also going to need a marker. I'm using a Sharpie, but any black marker will do. And then you can use colored pencils if you'd like, or you could use markers but please do not use crayons. Crayons will not work as we need to put the marker on top of the color and uh, marker will not draw well on top of crayons. So colored pencils or markers. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start by drawing four organic shapes on our paper. Organic shapes are shapes that are irregular and um, they don't have equal sides. Oftentimes they have curved sides. All right, so there's one of my organic shapes and we wanna use our space. So I'm going up almost to the top of the paper. I'll leave a little space there. Leave a little space down here though because we need to draw our trunks. Okay, I'll draw maybe an, a long oval shape here. Um, Let's do a triangular type shape with curved edges and I'll do one that has just two bumps. Now you can make your shapes any way that you want. You don't have to make the kind that I did right here. All right, I am now going to color in each of these shapes, one solid color um, that I did with the outline. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, now that I have my shapes colored in, I'm going to add the trunks. These are the tops of the trees and we get to add four different trunks. So I'm gonna show you some different techniques, but you can look back on the drawing guide that was on the slide um, before this to get some ideas if you would uh, need some more ideas. So we're gonna start by giving this first one a trunk. So I'm gonna start with a line, a vertical line going as close to the top of the shape as I can and bringing it down like so. And then I'm gonna just widen the bottom a little bit because I want it to look like a trunk and trunks are a little bit wider as they get down towards the bottom. All right back up over that one more time. Okay, now I get to decide what type of branches I want for this tree. So, you know, use your creativity. You can use straight lines, you can use wavy lines, you can use uh, zigzags, you can use um, any types of shapes that you want. I'll do this one probably, let's see, what should I do? I'll just do some kind of curved lines like so. And maybe I'll add some circles to the ends of those. Or maybe I'll even grab some, I'll have some little, I have some room here. 
I'll put some little branches right off of those as well. It's fun to be creative with these. I love making trees. I know I said that in the last video, but um, these are even more fun to make because you get to just be creative with it. All right, there's some little, that's about putting them on all of them, just choosing a few different branches to put them on. They're good. Okay, let's add another one to this long red tree another trunk. So I'm going to make another vertical line down like so. Make it a little thicker. All right. And I think I'm going to make like a curvy zigzag for this. So it's not going to be like a pointed um, line on the zigzag. But I'll start at the top and I'm just going to kind of go like back and forth. Like so, and then stop at the bottom. Okay, now let's make a new trunk and branches for this organic shape, this triangular organic shape. Make another straight line and darken the bottom. Okay, for this one, I am going to add straight lines all the way around, even on the top. So as I go up to the top, I'm just gonna go right around. Oop, that branch got a little crooked, but that's okay. If you need to flip the paper around, go ahead. Sometimes it's easier to, to do that. And then maybe I'll add some little circles to the end of each of these branches. And who knows what those circles are? Maybe they're little berries or little leaves or something. Okay, and then we have one more shape to do. That's our purple shape here. And for this brand or this trunk, I'm not going to color in the trunk. I'm going to make this one more of an open trunk. So I'm going to go up like this, curve it around like that, but I'm going to leave it open. Okay. So I'm just going to go over it again so that it's nice and dark. And I might add a little bit of texture to this one by just drawing some little vertical lines along the middle of that trunk. Okay, and then let's add some branches to that. And for these branches, let's see, what could I do? Maybe I'll just do some straight lines. These were a little curved, this one's just gonna be very straight and I'm not going to put anything on the ends of this one. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Again, you do not have to make yours just like mine. I'd love to see different trees, meaning different organic shapes, different colors, and of course, different line designs for your folk art trees. Okay, almost done here. There we go. And there are my four different folk art trees. I cannot wait to see what you do. Please post your picture in Seesaw by next week and have a fun time doing it. Bye.